Well, welcome everyone to another um, ACF Chat Fridays, which is our office hours um, session that we do every couple of weeks. Um, yeah, it's our regular chat. We record the session and we put it onto the WP Engine um, YouTube, WP Engine Builders YouTube account. And we also have it uh, on the website now. We have a dedicated ACF Chat Fridays page, which is good. Um, just for anyone who doesn't hasn't come before, I'm Ian Paulson, the product manager. And we have some of the ACF team with us today. We've got Anthony Bachel, one of the engineers, and we've got Mike from the content, Mike Davey from the content team. Uh, and we also do have some special guests today from WPML. But before we get to that, I just wanted to cover uh, some, some things that we've had going on recently in the world of ACF. So last week, I would, I would probably have hoped you would have heard, we released ACF 6.2, which was... Kind of a big major release we've been talking about it for a while on the most recent uh episodes episodes it's not a podcast sessions um and that was shipped last week which is great we've had some good feedback uh people are very happy about the bi-directional relationships that are now native in the plugin in 6.2 people are very happy about the easy way to create options pages for acf pro users in the in the admin um so yeah we are very happy that's gone out and yeah, not had to do any bug fixes quickly off the back of that. So we're now moving ahead with 6.2.1 uh, fixes. And you might have also heard last time in the session, we mentioned it as a kind of a teaser trailer that we've launched a public feedback board uh, and that got launched really as part of 6.2. So that's on the website. It's a it's something powered by Canny, which is a service where you can you can post requests for features. You can comment on other features that people have requested. You can vote on them and you can kind of help us further, help us prioritize our roadmap by just sort of making your voice heard on that uh, on that feedback board. So it's a much better place to kind of, for us to collect feedback from a central place rather than from email or support or Twitter or the support forums. Um, so yeah, go and, go and visit that and Give us, give us some help, some ideas, anything you want to um, give us feedback about. And finally, we yesterday we launched a new and improved area of the documentation for ACF blocks, which is something that we've kind of heard uh, a bit, especially since we've done these sessions, that creating ACF blocks, especially if you're used to creating ACF blocks in the original way which, with, with PHP, and then we moved to using block.json, uh, the kind of ACF blocks version 2, that happened in in Word, uh, in ACF 6.0, that some of the documentation wasn't that clear, wasn't very easy to understand how to create a block, what the sort of the key concepts were, and also some of the advanced things, how to use um, ACF blocks with sort of native WordPress settings or theme.json. So we've got this the newer new and improved documentation that we will also be adding to over time, but it's got a much better journey approach to it. Um, so I just wanted to call that out and let you know. But I think, yeah, let's let's get on with the, the real part of the show that we're here today. Um, so we're joined by special guests from WPML. We've got Pierre and Jamal, who, uh, well, they're top of my screen, but might not be for everyone else. Um, and WPML, in case you didn't know, is a, is a plugin, WordPress plugin, used for people to translate content on their site. Um, to different languages and that content can include ACF field values which is kind of why we're talking about it today we will as usual take questions sort of near the end so if you've got the Q&A button on your zoom uh, toolbar at the bottom then that Q&A is open and please drop questions as we go through the session we'll try and either answer them at the end or maybe as they are asked um, in chat if there's lots of them and if you haven't got the Q&A button just drop them in the chat box so yeah, and just quickly wanted to call out, we did recently publish a blog post on the Advanced Customer Fields um, blog about using ACF and WPML together, which is kind of a good starting point as well. So if you do want to uh, have a look at that afterwards, but yeah, let's get on with it. And Pierre, I'm going to pass it over to you for intro. So go ahead. Thanks, Ian. Uh, hi, everyone. So I am Pierre from WPML. Uh, I'm in charge of uh, the compatibility development. So we make sure that our product is working uh, uh, seamlessly with 
all the most uh, popular and significant uh, components in the WordPress ecosystem. So maybe I will just uh, give uh, a small, uh, small introduction of WPML and how it works with ACF. And then we have uh, a demo. So Jamal from my team uh, will show a small demo of uh, uh, basic ACF site where we, we start to, to make things multilingual. So if you don't know WPML, it's uh, one of the most popular, if not the most popular uh, multilingual plugin in the WordPress ecosystem. And it works with almost anything, uh, small blogs or big corporate sites, um, online shops with WooCommerce and so on. Um, this WPML uh, plugin provides uh, a wide range of uh, translation options. The most popular today is uh, automatic translation. So we have a mode called uh, Translate Everything, where you just uh, write your content and it gets automatically translated on the way. Uh, but you can also uh, decide to translate it by yourself. Uh, with our advanced translation editor, or you can decide to use the native uh, WordPress editor to do this. And if you have, if you are a big corporate site, you can even uh, send your content to be translated by professional services. Um, we have a lot of common customers with ACF, uh, so we are sharing a big. Uh, community together, and, and that's why we have to to dedicate um, uh, time and energy and efforts to, uh, a, I would say, um, a strong integration between WPM and, and, and ACF. <clears throat> uh, the challenge uh, is mostly about uh, how should we handle the fields. Uh, so when you create uh, a field, we have ACF, um, WPML needs to understand how it should handle this field. Should it be translated if it's a string? Should it be copied if it's not relevant? Um, should it be converted if it's an ID? So all these things. Uh, and on top of that, um, if we consider that ACF is using uh, the the standard WordPress API for fields, should it be post fields or term fields? Uh, it adds some more complexity because if you have a repeater field or a flexible field, it, there is a kind of uh, parent-child relationship between these fields. So WPML needs also to understand how these things are connected together. So um, you will see in the, in the demo, we have a, a specific add-on for that. It's called uh, Advanced Custom Field Multilingual, or ACFML. And it um, helps to, um, to, to provide a, a very uh, simple ongoing user experience, uh, help to set up everything by default, and um, well, provides uh, generally uh, an easy way to 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 use uh, both uh, ACF and WPML. Um, in short, the the features that includes in uh, ACF ML are uh, automatic configuration of fields, uh, translation preferences, ID conversion, especially for post fields. Um, enhanced media translation capabilities, supplementing the WPML media translation translation add-on. So, for example, if you have a, uh, an image field, um, we can easily uh, provide a specific image for the translate for the translation. Um, efficient registration of and translation of field strings like uh, label choices. And seamless integration with prominent plugins and page builders like Elementor, for example. So <clears throat> if you use a custom field uh, in an Elementor field page, uh, you will easily translate it as well. I think that's it. I, I don't know if you have any question. Maybe we can if maybe if we can keep it for the the, the last part, question and answers, if it can wait, um, then I will 
give uh, the mic to to Jamal. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Jamal, member of the compatibility team uh, for WPML. I prepared a, a small demo to demonstrate how WPML and ECFML will will tie ECF to WPML and make a translation of custom field as smoothly as possible. I'll share my screen. So here I have a WordPress install that has ECF installed and that has some field groups that some pages, for example, the product page has, has a field group with a repeater field to show a company company's products. I prepared a simple a simple team to display it and as you can see here we have a list of products so now I'll, I'll i'll install wpml and walk you through how our setup goes and how our translation is done so my my website is in english i'll I'll add French to it. So this is the WPML result. I have my default language. I choose a secondary language. And for the sake of this meeting, I'll just add one language. I'll choose the URL format. We have seven, three options possible, subfolders, URL parameters, or have different domains. Uh, let me register my website. We have this new translate everything mode, which will translate anything you have in your website automatically and allow you to, to review it or to just publish it without review. I'll choose to publish it without review for now. And it could work out of the box or be paused so you can choose, update your content and then translate it. I'll, I'll just pause it for now and continue my setup. WPML will detect that ECF is installed, in this case ECF Pro, and will suggest to install our add-on for ECF. And we will need our component screen translation too. So once the installation, the setup is complete, WPML will take you to our translation management where you can choose what to translate and how to translate it. For example, we have here the pages and the post in the website that we could send to automatic translation or to manual translation through our translation editors. Uh, right now, uh, I need to, to tell WPML using ECFML what to do with our custom fields. So, I'll update my my field group. And here ECFML asks what translation mode do you want to have? Do you want to have the same field across languages? And in this case, you will translate your content user our translation editor, different fields across languages. In this case, you will translate your posts and pages manually in the WordPress native editor which is useful for cases where you want to have different content 
between languages. And we have the expert mode where you can configure each field and how you want it to be translated, translated or copied or in yours. I'll, I'll choose the same field across languages for my repeater field and its subfields. And we save. Now we have some defaults. In this, in this mode, we have some defaults that we set, for example, the text field they will be set to be translated, but the number field will be set to be copied. And you can see this if you choose the expert mode. Here you can see that the price field is copied while the text field is set to be translated. So I'll just save. And I will resume the translate everything mode. It tell me we have you have a post and two pages to translate. So yes, I want to translate everything. And I'll start to translate everything. Here the wizard asks me, you want to, we have two options. Either you pay as you go and we send you uh, an invoice at the end of the month with the number of words you've uh, you've used and for what translation engine you used. We have different translation engines with different pricing. Or you can choose a prepaid package and uh, buy a number of words and use them. I'll go with the pay as you go. And here it asks me to, to, to register my credit cards for so, so we can charge you at the end of the month. For the sake of this of this uh, demo, I will assign some words from from our backend and uh, and show you how everything will go. I'll get back to our translation management dashboard and start. It will detect that I have now I have some credits. And it will start translating. Now it has calculated we have one post and two pages. They are added to the queue. And the translation is now done on the background. It will take a minute or two minutes and translate everything. So our pages are now completed. And for example, our product page, which is initially in English, is now automatically translated to French. So this is the, the title of the product is now in French. This is the description, which is now in French. And this is the color, which was also translated. Here I used, I used a select field, but I choose to display the, the value rather than the label. And that wasn't translated. The values are not translated, but the labels are, are translated. I'll, I'll just edit this, this page and add one more row to the repeater field. Uh, I'll add a new Let's say the jacket with the description for a very nice jacket. Uh, I'll just use the same image here. Put a price, choose a size, and let's pretend it's green. Update my page. Because I choose the translate everything mode, WPML will 
will detect that the page was updated and it will send it for translation and everything did happen right away. Now, as you can see, we have three products in English. We'll also have three products in French. These are my three products in English and in French. It was directly automatically translated to French. And yeah, that's it. Uh, maybe you want to not translate everything upon saving content. In that case, you you can pause the automatic translation until you have everything updated. Or you can choose in our setting to another mode. And that's it. I hope I hope this this shows how easily we can translate ECF contents when using ECFML. And uh, uh, if you have any question, um, we're here to to help. That's it. Thank you. If I may just thank, thanks, Jamal. If I may just add a, a, a small complement, even if you are using the translate everything mode, uh, which translate everything automatically, you can still uh, take control and correct the translation. Uh, you can just open the translation editor, change a small translation, fix something, and it will be uh, adjusted. Exactly. So yeah, yeah, it, I'll I'll update my translation. Here is our translation translation editor, and we have the the ECF fields. This is the label for the first row and the label for the second row descriptions. This is the page title, and if we have content for the page, we'll have it also here. And let's, for example, update the title to no produit. complete translation. Here, WPML has retrieved the translation. And we can see the French version. Uh, the, the page does not display the title, but as you can see in the menu, the title was updated from the last translation update. Yeah, yeah that's it. Uh, Pierre, would you like to, to add something? Uh, no, I just uh, mentioned uh, the, the ability to, to adjust uh, some translation. But yeah, there, there are a lot of possible workflows. Uh, as I said, to translate, you, you can connect to professional services. We have, uh, I think, 70 uh, integrated uh, professional translation services. You can do your own uh, translation if you have uh, in your team people um, writing in, in different languages. So they, they can you can assign them to specific translation jobs or specific uh, language pairs. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there, there is, I would say, an infinite uh, possibilities and workflows to, to translate your, your site. But I would say translate, translate everything now is the most common if you don't want to to worry too much and just focus on your default uh, language on your site and on your content. That's it. Uh, so yeah, I saw I saw uh, some questions in the question and answer. Should we try yeah. to answer? Yeah, I think so. So. Uh, Ayush, uh, we have an, an Arabic site using WPML and default language is English. Is there any setting that we need to consider about as we have ACF block and theme settings as are used? So first of all, if uh, it's not yet done, you should install Advanced Custom Film Multilingual. So if, if you follow the WPML setup, it should be there, but if not, please install it. And basically you should um, open your field group edit screen 
um, complete the multilingual setup. So explain what you you expect to do with your field group. Uh, as Jamal explained at the beginning, you should explain if it's translating the original content or having a different content for the translation. Uh, I would give this example that we usually uh, say, if you have, for example, a page showing um, agencies on your site, um, you might have an agency in England, for, in for instance, and an agency in France. Uh, the agency in England is not translated in the agency in France. It's two different contents. One is not a translation of the other. So in that case, if you need a field group to display these agencies, you should probably use the different uh, content for fields in that case. For the rest, generally, if you just want to, your site to be automatically translated, use same content across fields. And for the rest, uh, also something that I didn't mention, but we, ha we have a very um, extended team in the So if you have any question, you can open a support chat. And we have uh, many uh, experienced supporters there, so you will get help. Did I answer your, your question, Ayush? I I'll, I will add that the WPML will will handle right to left and left to right languages. Uh, so for team sitting, maybe that's uh, if 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 team sittings are ECF options pages, so ECFML will handle them. But if they are other kind of 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 sitting, in this case we have uh, we have other ways of of doing that. And ECFML is not uh, involved in that case, but there's definitely a way to to translate things into to your language to the secondary languages. But... Yeah, I think it's probably worth as well to chat. Uh, just calling out because Ayesha's theme settings and Jamal, you said if that's if that's an options page. The field group that is driving the fields that are going to be on that options page that's translatable by acfml um but if the options page is now created via acf's new ui in 6.2 similarly to the new ui we put into 6.1 for registering custom post types and taxonomies those things aren't yet are they guys just just to confirm that with those aren't translatable with acfml yet but i think that's something you're currently working on to, to translate uh, custom post types that are registered with the ACF UI? Yeah, so um, as these features were, were introduced quite recently, uh, ACF 6.1 and 6.2, uh, we, we didn't integrate it yet, but generally it worked fine. Uh, the only thing that you cannot uh, natively do is uh, translate the the post labels, the custom post type labels or custom taxonomy labels. But I, I think it's kind of minor for now, minor uh, feature. Uh, for the rest, you can still uh, create a custom post type uh, with ACF. Uh, there is, uh, in WPML settings, you will find uh, a table where all the custom post types are uh, listed and you can define how this custom post type should behave. So if you want to make it translatable, there is a, an option there, Jamal will show it. So there you, you can define, uh, for example, I think Jamal, you created a products custom post type, right? So this products post type, we, we can see it. 
uh, is set to not translatable. So for now, uh, when you create um, an item in, in this post type, it's not translated, but uh, it can be made translatable just by selecting in the translatable column. Then you can decide it will, uh, it will be handled by translate everything or not. But th th this is not specific to, to ACF. This, this will work with any uh, custom post type. As I said, the, the only limitation for now is that if you create a, a custom post type with ACF, um, you will not be able to translate the label if you ever need it. So uh, I'm not even sure there is so much uh, needs to, to have this label translated. Usually it's displayed in the backend. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. There's a difference there between making the back end multilingual and actually it's all about making the front end multilingual. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we we have a plan to integrate that. Uh I don't have a schedule yet to offer, but yeah, this is on, on the on the roadmap. That's great. Any other questions? We yeah, we've got we've got some time left, so happy to take specific ACF questions or ACFM ACFML questions or or anything around strategies to translate in sites and using WPML. We've got, yeah, we have got another question. Thanks, Susan. Susan says, for an ACF file field, where you want a different file for each language, what do you set the translation preference to? And do you still use the media translator to relate those two fields? Good question. I'm going to hand that over because I've got no idea. Uh, I will try to answer. So there, there are, there, you can have different strategies about that. Uh, but if it's a media file, uh, probably the best strategy is to use uh, um, the WPML media translation add-on. So basically this add-on allows you to, to have different images um, depending on the language. There is a, a common uh, use case, which is, um, for example, if you are showing uh, a driver in a car, if you are in France, Driver should be on the left. You are in England, you should be on the right. So, in that case, you can have two different images. Uh, and uh, if you are in in the English language, you will show the image with a driver on the right. And if you are in French, you will show the image with a driver on the left. And basically, uh, the media translation plugin has to to images between languages. So it's it's not something uh, that you need everywhere, but if you need it, probably a uh, media translation plugin add-on is the best way to go. Uh, I will try to to find the, the documentation about that to share with you. And, and, and does that work for files then, not just images? It could so, be PDF so, documents. Yeah, it, it it should work as soon as your file is um is in the WordPress library. Um, it should work. So I, I will share in the Q and A. Um, I will share the link to uh, our documentation for media translation. So if you want to, I don't know if if you can see it. I will share in the chat as well. So will that work for, for Susan's specific um, scenario there where using an ACF file field to upload the file and you're in the back end and you upload an in the English PDF, for example, but then do you switch to the French in the back end to upload the French PDF? How, how would that work with ACF? Yeah, it's... 
Again, it's uh, not specific to ACF. It's it's handled. Uh, we have a specific graphic user interface uh, in WPML Media, where you you see the original image and you can select. Uh, I wouldn't say a translation, but a, an image conversion for the other language. So, and, and as soon as you use um, a media field uh, or file field in ACF, and you you use this this field in a translation content, uh, the file will be automatically con converted. Right. Okay. So if you're outputting the PDF URL, for example, in a in a theme template using get field, which is the ACF field value function, WPML yeah. kind of intercepts that and says, "Oh no, the 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 user is in the French language version, so let's swap that PDF URL out for the French version that someone has edited in the media, um, the media translator." Yeah. Okay. I see Jamal nodding. So, yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. So th this is one of the one of the common feature, uh, and as we are talking about connecting um, entities, uh, we have also this question I mentioned that in the introduction about uh, IDs. So, for example, if you have uh, a, a post field, uh, an ACF post field, uh, or field post, I, I don't know how it's named, but um, it's referencing to uh, um, a post. For example, you have a page which is referencing a post um, in the same language, in English. Then you translate this page. And if you display the page in, in the translated language, uh, the reference should go to the translation of a post not to the original post. So this is also uh, supported. Right. OK, yeah, that, that's good. Thank you. Uh, I see a question also still from Ayush. Um, as in Arabic, there is right to left, uh, but when we copy content from doc, it always shows left to right. Is there any setting? that we need to do in ACF for right to left. Um, is that because of the, the program that's accepting the text? Curious. I, I guess what where where does Ayush mean where it's showing? Is that on the front end and the theme? I wonder if that's a, a yeah. WPM. Yeah, it's on the back end itself, the field we have set up. And when we change the language to Arabic, and it's uh, when we copy from that text to the from doc to the uh, field itself, and it's converting into the uh, left to right. And when it's also uh, rendered in the front end, it's also all again uh, shows into the left to right contents, and not the other way. So yeah. So um, that sounds like maybe it's an ACF issue when the. the... <laughs> Might be. I actually yeah. there there are two things on the front end. I think your theme should handle that. Yes, we have uh, used that RTL. Uh, yeah. And in the back end, uh, I'm not sure. May maybe indeed it's a uh, issue in ACF, but um, yeah, maybe it should be ported. Yeah, because if we've got if you've got created a text area field, for example, yeah. and you're showing that on the post when you're or a post when you're editing the post. And it's in a right to left language, then we sh yeah, are we actually making that appear right to left in the text area in the edit form for ACF? We can we yeah. can check on that. I, yeah. I think I think I think the only issue I could imagine is if you copy from a doc a document a uh, a doc to a WYSIWYG field. If you copy to a WYSIWYG field, maybe there are some HTML markup there that will enforce the left to right or the right to left direction. And, and I, I think in that case, neither ECFML, neither WPML could know because you're, you're copying HTML markup and you, you need to, to make sure it's, it's correctly copied. If you copy to a text area field, there would be no issues. WPML will handle the right to left direction correctly. 
Yeah, when you, whenever we uh, read, write, uh, whenever you type the Arabic uh, content itself in the field, it doesn't go to the uh, right to left. Uh, that is also the uh, issues we faced. Uh, yeah. Um, I was going to say it would be good. To, I, I, I'll try and uh, contact you afterwards, Ayesh, to to get some support on that and understand, you know, what what yeah. fields are affected, and then we can we can see what we can do. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Um, just to go back to Susan's uh, question on the file field translation, she did just have a follow up question saying that thank you for the answer. That makes sense. Is the translation preference for that for the ACF file field therefore don't translate or translate? If it uses the media translation, uh, if it uses the media, and generally, which is what we are doing, it's just copying the the field. Because um, the actually the the conversion is made at, at a different place. There is no translation. I mean, you the 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 no one will tell you what is the translation of a file. Uh, so you you will do this in WPML media, and WPML media will take care of replacing the the file uh, link uh, in the field. So in the database, uh, we 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 just say copy, and then WPML media will take care of replacing the the field. I would add that uh, we choose the translate option for any content that we would expect to see in our translation editor. The case of media files, be it a PDF or an image, we translated in another UI, in the media translation UI. SFML would take care of conversion. Yeah. Okay, great. And, and gener gener generally, if you use one of the option uh, of the uh, same fields across uh, languages or different fields across languages, it will set it to to copy automatically. So you you don't you should not even have to worry about that. Uh, it should be automatically set. Okay, great. Well, I think that's yeah, that's been help helpful. I hope Susan that helped on on your last question as well. Um, I think we've got a couple of minutes left, so it's probably worth wrapping it up. Um, the session's been really helpful. Um, thanks, guys, for coming, Pierre, Jamal, and Dean as well. Um, we really appreciate you coming to talk to talk to us about ACF and WPML and translation. I've definitely learned a few things as well. Um, and we will, yeah, we'll post we'll post the video. We'll post some. Michael do a, a a wrap up a roundup notes as well of what we talked about, and we can share that out if anyone's missed it. But yeah, appreciate everyone turning up uh, again. It's nice to see familiar faces sort of week off or session after session so we do appreciate that and we'll see you in a couple of weeks cheers thanks, thanks everyone